Hi, my name's Scott Whitley, and welcome to lesson two in this advanced slap technique series of videos. Um, in lesson one, um, we looked at um, a thing called double thumbing, which um, if you didn't catch lesson one, I'll just briefly show you what that is. Um, in regular slap plane, if you want to call it that, or traditional slap plane, um, you would strike the string with your thumb and bounce off or out, okay, like this, okay. So in one in and out or down and up motion, you get one note, okay? With the double thumbing, you play through the string with the thumb and then back up as well, pretty much like a plectrum, okay? Um, so if you wanna check out exactly how to do that, have a look back at lesson one. Right, okay. So if you've, um, if you've been having a go at this and you've, you've got it to a standard where you, you, you know, you're getting quite comfortable playing up and down like this, down and up should I say, um, then let me just first of all just give you a few um, tips on things you can do to practice it and get it better and, and, and start to incorporate it in your uh, in your music. Um, the first thing is take anything that you already play or, or practice, uh, whether it's scales, arpeggios, bass lines that you know already, um, anything you're working on, um, if if you've got it down with the right hand using your fingers, if that's something you've got in the bag, then why not use your um, practice your double thumbing at the same time? For example, you might be working on a, a major scale exercise, uh, perhaps playing it up in thirds or something like. And so on. Um, so what you can do is use the double thumb, maybe play two beats or two notes um, uh, you know on e on each note as it were so for example okay um, and that can apply to anything you might be playing uh, even a rock and roll bass line yeah Whatever, okay? So that's just a tip on, um, just just use it for anything, just get it in there, you know? Uh, even if you don't use it on the gig, at least when you're practicing, just play everything with it, and that'll get it real, real good fast, you know? Okay, so what we're gonna do um, now is look at how you can incorporate um, hammer-ons into, um, into this double thumbing technique. Um, so what this will allow you to do, in its simplest form, is in one down and up motion, um, you're already getting two notes. Uh, if you chuck a hammer on in there, you've got three notes, okay? So, um, let's look at an example. Let's play an open A string, okay? With, a, um, with the down part of the double thumb. But we're not gonna come straight back up. We're gonna rest on the D string and just wait there, okay? Here we go. All right? Then, we're gonna hammer on two the fifth fret on this on the same string okay with the left hand okay so there you've got two notes you've just gone down and hammered on and you've landed on a d so we're kind of thinking actually well i am i'm, I'm thinking d d major okay all right so we've kind of gone from the fifth underneath to the the root the d here we go let's do that again okay so down rest there don't come back up hammer on and the next bit is your thumb's still here resting while you're still holding that, that D with your left hand, that fifth fret, pluck upwards. Let me show you that, okay? Um, here we go. Okay, again. I'll just repeat that in a little loop for you. Okay, so you can see how that works. Um, in one down and up motion, you get three notes, okay? So take some time to practice that. Uh, start very slowly with a metronome. I've got a drum machine set here at 59 BPM. Okay, and um, we could go like this.
Okay. So, I mean, even if you need to go slower than that to, to start with, you know, um, go for it. Whatever speed you need to be at to play it uh, comfortably, go for it. Um, you know, there's no there's no panic or rush here to do this as fast as you can by any means. Um, more playing it musically and playing it really smoothly and tightly. With everything you, you ever uh, practice, this should be the case, okay? Um, so... Once you get to the stage where you're um, you're quite comfortable with that that motion, that down hammer on up thing, okay. Uh, probably one of the first things you can start to do is um, is use that technique um, in the same way I was just talking about. Maybe uh, scales are actually um, a, a good idea for this, okay. Um, so, for example, let's look at the G major scale. All right, I'm going to play the entire G major scale uh, using this technique. All right. So, um, let me just run the major scale. You know, I'm assuming everybody knows the major scale, but here it is, just in case. All right, so if you don't know that, you should. All right, okay. So let's incorporate the, uh, the the double thumb. A minute ago, I showed you how you can just play them with the, the down and up, but we're going to incorporate the the, the hammer on as well. Okay, so here we go. I'll just play it for you. Now it's it's odd, isn't it? This this technique because you're playing these open strings um, on strong beats, it's 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 quite odd because um, as you speed it up, you more clearly hear the note that you're hammering onto, uh, which is quite quite bizarre, really. Okay, odd, but that's how it works. Um, it does make a lot of sense when you're using this technique to make sure that the uh, the open strings. Um, work in some way harmonically. I mean, all all those those notes happen to be in the um, G major scale, so that's good. Okay, now we've got that together. So you're doing um, you, you you're doing an open string on the down. You're hammering on, and then you're getting another note on the way out. Okay. Let's add a fourth note in there uh, with a pull. Okay. So we're in the key of G. All right. So oh, this so far we've been doing this. We've been going um, open string, hammer on, and then an up. Now after that, on the way up or out, you can catch. We're going to play the octave. Okay, so that's fifth fret on the D string with a pull. So we've got this. I'll play that a few times for you. Here we go. Um, so that's giving you four notes, okay? Now with that, we can start to do things like this. Okay, um, so that's that's kind of cool. Um, so obviously the way to get that up to speed is, um, again, like everything else, it's, it's, it's so obvious really, but, but hardly anybody seems to really put it into practice. And that's to start off really slowly and build up very very gradually okay so for example let's get the drum machine going again okay or even slow you know if, if it needs it Okay, and then just gradually build that speed up, you know, 10 BPM or so at a time uh, until it gets really comfortable. Um, and that's the way to get into it. And, and just, if you just persevere and be religious with that style of practice, okay, and every day write down 
the the tempo that you comfortably achieved on that day i guarantee that uh, the next time you come to practice you will beat that speed and you'll you'll feel good about it you'll feel like um, i'm getting somewhere you'll see your progress you've got to chart your progress out it really really helps okay so um that's kind of it for this lesson um as I say, the thing to do with all these techniques, everything that, that we're looking at here, is not to just sit and do it as an exercise. Obviously, you've got to, I guess, to get the uh, get the basic motion of it. You know, just sit over an octave like we were doing there. You know, until you're comfortable with it. As soon as you can, um, you can do it. Start making music with it. That's that's the thing. Um, as I said before, you know, perhaps. It might not be the most appropriate technique for you to use on on whatever gigs that you're doing at the minute, uh, but certainly at home, you know, just put put a track on that you know or you're trying to learn, um, you know, and just play along using these techniques, okay? Just to um, and just try and be as musical as you can and as um, you know as tight as you can as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you've got any questions whatsoever. Uh, drop me a line. Uh, you can email me on scott at scott-whitley.com. Uh, please visit my website, which is www.scott-whitley.com. Um, on there, you can subscribe to um, some extra free lessons that you won't find on YouTube, uh, tips, etc. And um, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.